So guys, now the next API that we will going to implement is bitmap copy. So this API accepts four arguments. The first argument is a source bitmap. So this is the source bitmap in our example. The second is a pointer to the destination bitmap, which is empty. And this is the start index. So in this example, our start index is let's say 11. And we have a count in this example, let us say that our count is just 10. Right, so start index means that in the source bitmap, starting at index 11, we need to copy 10 bits into the destination bitmap. All right. So it means that after execution of this API, our destination bitmap must have all these green bits right in the front. So this would become 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's it. The remaining bits are 0. So this is our destination bitmap that is supposed to be after execution of this bitmap copy API. All right. So basically this API deals with copying a portion of the bitmap from the source bitmap to the destination bitmap. Obviously, you can copy the entire bitmap from source to destination by adjusting these parameters. So you can pause this video, think about it, and you can try your own implementation. Let me discuss the algorithm that we will going to follow in order to implement this API. However, you are free to implement your own version. And in order to test the implementation of this API, you should execute test case number eight. So this algorithm is divided into four parts. The first part means identify the start block and end block. So start block is the block in which the start index is present. So as I said that our bitmap for the sake of example, we have taken a bitmap of size 32 bits in which block size is 8 bits. All right. So let's say this block B0, this is block B1, this is block B2, this is block B3. In our real implementation, our block size is 32 bits. So depending on the start index, in this case, we are assuming that start index is 11 and the count is 10. What is the block number in which the start index lies? Very simple, it is the block B1, right? You can do your very simple math. Then what is the end index? Start index plus count minus one will give you end index, which is 20. What is the block number in which the end index lies? This is the block B2, all right? So block B1 and block B2 in this example are consecutive blocks in the source bitmap, but it is not necessary. The start block and end block may have several blocks in between. All right. So this is the step number one, identifying the start block and end block. Step number two is copy all the blocks from start block up to end block from source bitmap to destination bitmap, right? So you have to copy at the block level. So copy the entire block B1 to the first block in the destination bitmap, copy the block B2 to the next block in the destination bitmap and so on. So here copying the entire blocks can be achieved by using just one assignment instruction. That is assignment of UN32 integer values. So don't bother to copy bit by bit in order to copy the blocks from source bitmap to destination bitmap. So after this operation, your destination bitmap would look something like this. All right, the remaining bits in the destination bitmap would obviously out of the question and they are all zeros. All right, so we will not talk about them. Now from the destination bitmap, the bits which you see in the white color are the bits which are not required. The bits on the right hand side are referred to as write residual bits. 
and you need to zero all these right residual bits and the bits on the left hand side are nothing but they are left residual bits and we need to get rid of the left residual bits by shifting the bitmap towards left so here you can use left shift api which you have already written on a bitmap all right but here you have to zero out all these right residual bits and you can do so by masking let's say this is the block b0 this is the block b1 so block b1 can be performed an end operation by a mask right if you do this then all the right residual bits of the block b1 would become zero and you need to save it in the block b1 back all right so this mask can be generated using an api bits generate once which we have already written or implemented right this api generate mask so you need to find out how many residual bits are there and how many left residual bits are there by doing simple arithmetic so at step number three you have to zero out the right residual bits and once you have done that successfully at step number four you have to perform left shift operation on the destination bitmap and we are done so this is the algorithm that i have implemented if you could uh, think of a better one you are free to do so so verify your implementation by executing test case number eight